Hey guys, Joe here at JP Details with part 5 of the world's most neglected Subaru Impreza STI restoration and today we've got a few final things left to do and then the Impreza import will be complete. The raised TE37 bronze wheels are going to be ceramic coated with g wheel armour so just a little final preparation work left for those. The wheels aren't being taken off the vehicle but there is just enough room for me to squeeze my hand in to also coat the inner barrels. The wheels themselves are already in good condition and have been given the full chemical decontamination process, so my last step before protection is going to be to give them a final IPA wipe down. It goes without saying that at this point you could polish the wheels either by hand or machine, but with limited time and the fact that the wheels are pretty new, I opted to move straight to the IPA stage. IPA is going to remove any final traces of previous wax, sealant or polish residue and to ultimately prep the surface ready for ceramic coating application. G-Technic C5 wheel armour is a durable ceramic coating specifically designed to protect your wheels against brake dust, general contamination and obviously to make them easy to keep clean. This ceramic coating with a single layer will last for two years. I apply just enough product onto a G-Technic finger foam applicator and apply the coating to all layers of the wheels including the inner barrels, behind the spokes, the spokes themselves and the brake calipers. This product does spread quite far so there is no need to oversaturate the foam applicator but you'll still need enough product to get the entire wheel coated. Once the entire wheel has been coated, immediately remove the excess product using a fresh microfiber towel. After giving the wheel a thorough going over with the first microfiber towel, after flipping it a few times, I then opt to take a second fresh microfiber towel and go back over all layers of the wheels to ensure that all of the excess product has been fully removed and that the wheels are looking superb and fully coated. G-Technic wheel armor requires the vehicle not to be driven for 12 hours after application and for the wheel surface to remain dry throughout that time. G-Technic wheel armour has been a proven product for me just like all of the other G-Technic ceramic coatings so I would highly recommend this product for your own personal vehicle. The wheels were given a bit of time for the coating to harden up before applying the tyre dressing which is Swissvax Pneu which also happens to be my favourite tyre dressing. I did a review and application guide for Swissfax Pneu a few months ago on a BMW 340i M Performance along with reviews on Autobahn Wheel Wax and Swissfax Shield. So if you are interested in watching an application guide for those three select Swissfax products then be sure to check out my other uploads. Swissfax Pneu was applied to the tyres and allowed to dry naturally which by the next morning the wheels were looking fantastically clean and shiny with impeccably dressed satin finished sidewalls. The four tailpipes of the ProDrive exhaust system on the Impreza STI import were initially cleaned whilst the vehicle was washed in the first episode, but as a secondary cleaning step I opt to use IPA which is essentially a degreaser in its own right. The IPA is going to remove a large chunk of that carbon buildup, particularly on the inside of the exhaust tips, which has been made obvious by the state of the microfiber towel. Using the IPA is also going to make things a bit easier when we move to the polishing stage. For exhaust tip polishing I currently use Meguiar's next generation metal polish and a cheap microfiber applicator pad and will work the metal polish into all accessible areas of the exhaust tips. At this stage if the tips are excessively built up with carbon deposits and are too stubbornly stuck down for the microfiber pad you can always opt to use wire wool which has been covered on this channel a few times. The ProDrive system did not require me to use wire wool as the microfiber applicator did a wonderful job.
After the polishing stage is complete, take a microfiber towel to remove all of the excess product and to return the exhaust tips back to an incredibly shiny and clean finish. Prior to applying a ceramic coating to the exhaust tips, which is practically the same as doing it to the paintwork, you will want to clean the exhaust tips once again using IPA. IPA is essentially going to remove all of the polish residue and oils left over from the metal polish and to prep the tips ready for the ceramic coating. I opt to use G-Technic Crystal Serum Light on the exhaust tips due to it being a tough layer of ceramic protection. This coating lasts between 3-5 to five years on the paintwork, so I imagine you should get around 2 years of protection on the exhaust tips. Apply the ceramic coating to a finger foam applicator or something similar and then simply apply it to all layers of the exhaust tips and if you are anything like me then I'll also apply it to the inside of the tips. Coat all areas with the ceramic coating and then take a microfiber towel to remove the excess residue. Your exhaust tips should now be nice and easy to keep clean, provided that they are cleaned regularly, and of course, stupidly shiny. With all ceramic coatings now applied to the exterior, apart from the windows which we will get to shortly, the 3M masking tape is gently removed and the vehicle is given a quick dust down using my super soft merino wool duster. I do like the tape removal stage because by this point the vehicle is well on its way to completion and it really starts to come together. The windows have already been fully decontaminated including the clay bar stage so I generally find a good polish using auto finesse glass polish preps the windows perfectly ready for the G-Technic ceramic coating. Using a handheld window polishing applicator and a few drops of the auto finesse polish I'll thoroughly work the polish into all layers of the windows and windscreen. The polishing stage is going to remove any final surface contamination left on the windows that the clay bar stage didn't pick up and to also make them crystal clear. Following the polishing stage, I'll clean the windows with IPA to remove any polish oils or residue in order to form the perfect surface for ceramic coating adhesion. G-Technic G1 Clear Vision Smart Glass is a two-year ceramic coating for the windows which makes driving in bad weather conditions far safer due to increased visibility and the coating also makes ice, bugs and tree sap far easier to remove. 
You apply one layer of the ceramic coating to the side windows and the rear window and then you apply three layers to the windscreen. I'll start with applying the first layer to the windscreen to allow this first coat to harden up. I'll then apply the coating to one set of side windows, so for this instance it will be the driver's side. I'll then apply the second coat for the windscreen so it's had those five minutes whilst I was doing the one set of side windows. After the windscreen second coat I'll apply the coating to the passenger side windows and then after those five minutes I'll apply the final coating to the windscreen. Not forgetting the rear window of course which sometimes I do 50-50 whilst doing each set of side windows. By doing this technique allows you to continue to work whilst giving the windscreen those five minutes for each layer to cure enough so you can layer the product on top. One last bit of important application information is that you should apply the three coats in three different motions. So the motions are vertical, horizontal and circles. It doesn't matter which way round you do it, but if you give it those five minutes between each layer, you will be able to see, if you look closely enough, the dried product residue in all three motions. Of course, there is nothing wrong with applying three layers for every window, but just remember it will take you twice as long and it isn't a requirement by G-Technic. After the coatings have been applied to the windows, you are required to wait for 15 minutes before beginning the buffing stage, which I should warn you, can get tiring. I opt to remove as much of the excess product residue with a dry microfiber towel and then take a window cleaner like G-Technic G6 and a fresh microfiber towel to remove all final traces of excess product residue. The G6 glass cleaner does a perfect job at getting the window successfully ceramic coated and crystal clear and for those that have used this coating before, if you smell G2 it actually smells very similar to G6. Hence why I use G6 because it is far easier and a quicker method. The windows are now going to repel rain and water like no tomorrow. They are going to sheet water impeccably and will keep the windscreen easy to maintain in terms of removing bugs, ice and tree sap. The interior received a full clean from top to bottom, all surfaces including carpet, fabric, leather and plastics were cleaned with a mixture of all purpose cleaner and upholstery cleaner. The interior was given a detailed vacuum and shampoo and wet vac extraction for the floor mats. The interior windows, glass and dials were cleaned and the hard interior surfaces were finished with auto finesse spritz interior detail spray, plus a JP Details dangly air freshener, which you can also get on the online store, wink wink nudge nudge. I'm going to retain from showing any final finished footage of the exterior in this episode as it has dragged on a bit and I want to keep this video relatively short. I also have a few other things that I want to talk about with this car as it has made a good subject for tuition. So please tune into part 6 for the big reveal and lots of before and afters. As always, thank you for watching. Please drop the video a like to show a bit of support and please subscribe to the channel if you are not already. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Instagram, just search JP Details. I'll hopefully catch you in the next one.